The way I'm using the uh, Digitrax uh, signal system is technically standalone, so I set up a separate loco net and everything's being controlled by uh, my computer. So as you already saw, there's the SE8C, and there's a cable, like I've already said, that goes to, um, both cables go to the front of this because the way it works is this has a power cable to uh, power the loco net part. And the uh, SC8C also has, it needs a uh, 12 volt AC power supply, which I have sitting right over there. So the system needs two power supplies, just so you know. Um, the uh, power supply for the Digitrax is the, uh, they think it's the PS14, it's the one Digitrax and CE they all use. Anyway, um, and then the other cable goes to this loco buffer which I just have taped up here right now. Um, this has already been set up. Um, in the instructions there's a uh, jumper and you put on jumper 6 I think it is and this will provide termination for your loco net. That just connects to the computer um, and the way this works since I'm using two systems I just added a separate loco net system Told it Digitrax, local, local net, local buffer USB is the system connection, and the settings in the command station are for local buffer. Now the way I currently uh, control the signals, this is just a standard default, is the way the board is set up as put out in the instructions is there's a signal control and depending on the board ID, which I've already set mine to two, factory default being one, my signals are uh, switch 321 to switch 384. So what I would do here is in uh, JMRI, um, in the turnout control, I would put um, 3, 8, I'll do uh, 2, and I'll click Throne, and then we'll go over to the uh, signal. I've already gone ahead and gone back to the computer, and you can see I've actually closed it. And the bottom aspect right here is blinking yellow. And I will now throw 381. And that results in this case being a uh, double red. And then, I don't know if you can see this, but closing 381 will make it red over green. And that's basically how it works with all of the uh, signals here. And then throwing uh, 279, I believe, I've gone double green on this side. And I have uh, made the searchlight signal go green. Now the way it's set up right now, factory default for the most part, oop, pardon the shaky, is whatever the top head on a cantilever bridge is at, uh, this one will reflect it mainly because since I have no block detection, um, the system has no clue where there's a train.